Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be checking out an operating system called Tails OS, which gives you the ability to browse the web privately. So let's get started. Now, I recommend this operating system to be put onto your tool belt if you guys run Ventoy like I do on one of these USB sticks. It's just a really good operating system to have if you don't trust the computer that you're currently on and you're actually able to boot into an operating system that you know is gonna be completely private. Now, how it works is Tails jumps into Tor Network and Tor Network is basically a huge proxy network. So you're jumping between multiple computers just to get to the end destination. So, so your ISP or anybody can't see what you're actually doing. And also gives you the ability to jump onto onion links which is basically the dark web now i use this operating system a lot just for research purposes because i know i need to look up something that might not necessarily be good for my personal computer so i would jump into an operating system like this so it's more disposable if i break anything on this operating system i know it's not going to affect the actual my desktop or my windows pc anyway to jump into it i'm going to leave a link to down in the description below for the website but here we have the main website called tails uh, there's a couple of ways to install this and you could actually go to how it works to describe like how this actual operating system works but the two ways is to run it live on a dvd mode or persistent storage on a usb the way i run it is basically a dvd method so there's no persistent storage i don't get to retain any of my like bookmarks or anything but i do install it onto ventoy which allows me to run multiple operating systems if i need to install windows or linux or whatever um, i also install tails on here now you can head over to install tails and there's ways to actually install it onto your persistent storage or your actual computer but the other methods are usb stick which gives you persistent storage or this uh, burn to dvd which is the one i'm using basically an iso image that i load into to ventoy so what i have right now is i'm just going to reboot the system and boot from the usb here we go my ventoy and you see i have a couple of operating systems in here preloaded but i'm going to run tails The initial boot up does take a little bit because you are running off a uh, USB and my USB is actually very slow. So it's going to take a couple of minutes just to get into the operating system. But if you do have a faster USB, like a USB 3, uh, it should boot up into the operating system much faster. All right, so here we go. This is the first boot and it does ask you for your keyboard layout. So in case you're not in the US or anywhere else, you could change it to where you are. So I'm going to start Tails, give it a few more minutes because it's going to need to load GNOME. And it does use GNOME as default, which uh, I'm very familiar with, so I like it. And here we go. Now, when you first start up, it has this screen where you could either choose connect to Tor automatically or hide my lo uh, local network that I'm connecting to. Um, either one works. I'm going to use this one on top and then connect to Tor. And that's it. Now I'm on the Tor network. And if I go over to start Tor browser, which is basically, a, I think, a Firefox browser, um, you'll be able to jump right into the Tor network. Actually, it is Chrome, Chromium. So uh, that's not too bad either. Now, keep in mind that when you are on Tor network and you're proxying through so many of these other computers who are also on the Tor network, internet is not super fast. Um, you'll still be able to browse the web, but it's not as instant as your local network like you're normally used to. So the first thing I, I usually check to see if I'm on the Tor network is to jump into if config. So if con if config .co. Now I'm currently in uh, New York. So if you can see my IP, this is not my current IP, but it is saying that it's from Chicago. And yeah, it's it shows that it's not the current IP that I'm currently stationed at right now, but it gives me another IP from somewhere else. So it kind of tells me that, hey, I'm not on my own network. Now, as far as like programs go, it does come preloaded with a few programs, Audacity, Backup, CD Burner, uh, Bitcoin Node, uh, Keep Past, uh, just in case if you have some passwords. Um, like a lot of these things would help if you have persistent storage, but a lot of it is your standard connections. Uh, you got video players as well and uh, Tor connection if you want to check your Tor connections. You have your Tails installed just in case this could, if you want to install to your hard drive, you can run this as well. But most notably, what you really wanted is to make sure that you are not on 
your own network. Now, if I go to DuckDuckGo and search for DuckDuckGo Onion, hopefully it should come back with uh, a link at least that I could use to go into an Onion link. So right now I'm still on clean web because you could see that I'm using a URL and right over here, I'm just gonna go to this Reddit post and it has this onion link, which is 3GP, this one right here. I'm gonna copy this and jump into an onion link. Maybe it's not working, huh? There you go, I had to jump into a different onion link, but yeah, ultimately now I'm in the onion version of DuckDuckGo that allows me basically running into the dark web or the not clean web. Basically, again, this allows for a lot of browsing. And if you go into suspicious links or anything, again, this is an operating system that could be destroyed and it won't damage your actual operating system that you have physically on the computer. So I do recommend using this in case if you are looking for something and it is quick to boot into, uh, just that the USB that I'm using is extremely slow and old. But normally if it's like a USB 3, it should boot right into this really quick. So if you guys have a VM or a computer that you have laying around, I would recommend checking it out. Anyway, that is it for me guys. If you have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And then same my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.